What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So last night I actually went to Fontana to pick up a set of URR size skirts and I've actually been kind of looking but not really looking for this car and if you guys don't know the URL size skirts have like like a slight like bow to it or like a flare to it but it doesn't really like make the car any lower. It's the same like height as the OEM size skirts but I went to go pick up size skirts and I ended up with four sets of your R size skirts. So you kind of see how it's pointy at the ends. They go up and down. Let's see. Ugh, it's hard to see kind of, but on the car you can see it better. Um, so I'm currently using the 06-08 OEM size skirts. And if you guys don't know on the 0405, versus the 0608 USCM. The only difference is the 0608, they kind of kick out a little bit versus like an 0405. My plan is actually to put a set on and see what the car looks since I am running the whole lip kit already. I have the front, the rear lip, and literally the only thing I'm missing is the side skirts, which I have four sets of. I'm currently selling them. I made a post on Instagram and a lot of people hit me up and want to pretty much want a set. So I, I sold the silver set, black is pending, and then one of the whites are pending. I don't care too much about the one that I'm putting on my car, as in like the condition, as long as there's no like deep scratches or anything, because we're wrapping it, it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm thinking about putting these ones on. These are a little bit rough, as in like the paint. And there's some tape, but what I might do is lightly scuff it and then wrap it. Yeah. You can kind of see where, right there, it, it kind of goes up, then it goes down. And then this one isn't as bad. So I might just put these ones on since the silver, you know, this set, and the black are way cleaner. I'll just literally just put on the more banged up one because you know it is what it is only downside is it's missing one tab up here so there's supposed to be three tabs and you guys do know these size skirts especially like due to the age these tabs always break so like this one and this one but what i did was i epoxied it well i i JB well glued it and it's it's been good so that's what we're gonna do to all the tabs but it is a common issue where they kind of like break up like this. And then some don't. Well, let's see. All of them have it minus this one. This one's missing the center one, but there's still a lot that, a lot of ways that it mounts up. Picked up four sets of your R size skirt. All different colors. Like I did have a blue set, but it was missing the other side. So I could have had almost all the colors that they came in. I'm just gonna move these around uh, somewhere. And then we're just gonna put the white ones on. Uh, I think I fixed all the tabs on this one, right? Uh, yes. I'm not too worried about this tab because it still has all these, so this isn't really too much of a big deal for me. Most likely we're gonna have to wrap it. Hopefully I have enough wrap material since I just wrapped the roof. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I might not have enough, unfortunately. Hold on a second. Huh. I might have to go through this because I remember that I wrapped the side skirts and I cut it in half, or actually the spoon bumper. So I should have another half section. I think it's this one right here. So I think that might be enough if I stretch it, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna clean up and then pop the side skirts on. I have the OEM side skirt off. Now a quick tip, take off all of these clips and then put them into the new side skirt. So all you do is put the new side skirt on and you smack it in versus like trying to slide it in between these grooves, which will break them. So just take off all of these and then swap it over. 
same as like Integra EG and EKs. Literally the same exact method or clip. Side skirt's on. Now, one thing I've actually noticed too is this side skirt's slightly wider. So if you look at my door, they kind of come out. And it's good that the car or the side skirts are wide because you can see this. So they come out more. So they like kind of look like you actually have like a side skirt that sticks out a little bit versus the OVM one. They sit completely flush with like the door. So they don't even like stick out as much versus the your R side skirts. They do. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. Sorry, my focus settings were messed up, but you can see that now. See how they kick out a little bit? So I already uh pulled the clips back in. What I'm gonna do is sand it down, wrap this side, and then flip the car around to the other side. I do have extra wrap on the bumper, so I just have to cut this in half and then wrap this. But I need to rough it up real quick because it is a bit dirty and I'm sacrificing all the good ones for this one. This one isn't bad, it's just more scratched and you know, it just needs more work, but it's all good. Nothing that a scotch bright pad can't fix. So let's get going. Bam. Just like that, they're wrapped. You can kind of see the difference. It looks a bit more aggressive because this is pointing down, and this is pointing down, and also it does add some width to the car. That actually was a lot easier to wrap than I expected it, probably because I've done everything else, and this is just one flat surface. Minus the bottom side, you have to kind of curve it in. But what I'm gonna do now is flip the car around, do the other side, and then we'll take the car out and see what it looks like. But for the most part, it looks good. And uh, so I did say the server uh, set is sold. Now these white ones are sold. So it's my friend Diego, and then the black ones are left. And most likely by the time this video comes out, they're already all gone. So don't bother Instagramming me or sending me a message. And these are the OEM side skirts. There's nothing fancy to them. But, oh, you can kind of see now where it has this little lip right here. That's where the extra like girth comes from. This is like this, it doesn't have it. And this one has it. But, all right, kind of flip the car around. preview of what the Fields exhaust sounds like. I will have a proper um, sound clip video soon. Side skirts are on. I'm gonna take you guys out or outside and show you guys, but. off from but all right let's get going all right I'm gonna make this quick because it's kind of hot and I have mayo in the car but this is what the car looks like with the your R side skirts you can see how now like they kick down so it kind of goes like this but it does make the wheel wells look more aggressive because of it and also Here's the fuse exhaust. This is what the car looks like now with the single exit. Looks really good in my opinion, single exit. 
So, yeah, this is what the car looks like. So here are our side skirts, and here's from the front view. Looks so good. All right. All right, Mayo, you ready to go home? I believe my package just came, so let's go open up my package real quick and probably end the video from there. Back home and I made it just in time, so <clears throat> the UPS driver tried to drop off my package but I wasn't here and I tried to access my ring but I had no signal so I couldn't tell him just to leave it. But luckily like he drives around this complex so I found him. I got the package, so this is what I've been waiting for from Japan for... Not that long actually, I think it's been like two weeks. Bam! It's in a Honda box and the part number 17100RRC. So this is the RRC manifold for this car. If you guys don't know, I explained it in I think in one of my other videos like two videos ago. Uh, RRC is a FT2 uh, intake manifold so type R and this is technically the hybrid between RBC and the RBB uh, which is what I have the RBB you get lower end torque RBC is all top end but this is technically in between and it is one of the best manifolds you can get for uh, this car so let's open it I believe my intake hose should be in here also wow I just got a paper cut This is the intake hose, uh, 17228RBC010. Uh, sounds like a K20, but this is for a uh, Euro R, which will make everything a direct bolt on for this manifold. So. These are pretty expensive nowadays. Got out of the bubble wrap, but. The main difference you can tell on if it's an RBC or RRC is ones right here. Right here says RRC. But also on the RRC, it has this center piece. And it also doesn't go down. Uh, let's see, I'll show you guys. It's hard to see. If I had, an R I had an RBC manifold not too long ago, so I could have showed you guys, but um, the RRC kind of sits a little bit higher um, or I forgot but you guys can look it up but this is a type R manifold now it doesn't have the air control valve but that's not going to be an issue so this is a direct bolt-on just need a uh, thermal gasket or you can use OEM whichever one works and you don't need to cut this of course on the K24s and that's it but that's what I've been waiting for and Got it in, so we'll probably do that sometime. I don't know, tomorrow's the weekend, and the weekends I try not to like do any work, or the weekend's my weekend. Um, so we'll probably do it next week, but for now, at least today, I did the side skirts. The moldings, the reason why I haven't put anything back on yet, I've been driving a car like this, because these moldings I have, I just have to pick up an Acura, but the little pieces that go here, I need the clips that go on this molding so I can snap into it. I don't have these clips and unfortunately I threw away my old moldings and I could have taken it off of that but it's okay. So I bought new clips for this, you can see the outline, and I bought new clips for that molding so it can all clip in and these you can reuse or you can buy new ones but these are pretty cheap, they're like less than a buck. That's one reason why I haven't put the moldings on yet even though I have a brand new windshield. And then the wiper cowl, I have them off right there. I might paint it, I'm not sure. It keeps fading and I'm tired of it. And you can't buy these brand new anymore from Acura. Um, so I'll probably mask off the molding and then paint the whole thing. Ready to clean up the engine bay and slowly but surely clean up the car. I love the Eurar side skirts. Can't really see, but yeah. So peace out guys, all this other, just keep building and stay tuned for fun stuff.